So here's a video from the creationist Sabor Ahmed, which shows Stephen Meyer talking about a Chinese paleontologist called J.Y. Chen and his claims. We will watch the video first, and then I will make a comment afterwards. Claiming that the, that the presence of an intelligence versus an undirected process is detectable and testable with so scientific Peter's methods. Peter's going to blow a course, I, so I believe in punctuated equilibrium. Thank you. So Peter, so, so, Peter, so Peter, what do you make of the Cambrian explosion? Do you do you hold uh, a polyphyletic or a monophyletic view of the history of life? You know, I was hoping we'd get to that. And one of the really wonderful things that we do compare is Cambrian explosion. Uh, I've been up to the Burgess Shale, and one of the real interesting things about the Burgess Shale is that the damn Canadians control it so tightly. Are there any Canadians here? <laughs> <laughs> A little too late hey, now on that I was, one. I was a landed immigrant. <laughs> Richard Nixon was not going to kill me. But I came back, and what I'd like you to know is I've been up to the, the Burgess Shale, and what happened there is that you have to carry out all your own wastes. So all the scientists who go up there get a tin can with your name on it. So anything that you produce, you bring back down out there with you. Steve Gould was up there, and not only did he have to carry out his own waste, he had to be carried up on a sedan chair and came back again. But it's an amazing place for understanding, I mean, this view of life and this grandeur of life. Now, what's so spectacular is the Burgess Shale was really thought to be the only window, the only real window into the past so we could get soft-parted creatures. But a fantastic new place, as you know, Chengjiang in China, we now have another window 10 million years prior to the Burgess. The same sort of preservation where not only the fossils, not only their hard parts, but soft parts are preserved. And lo and behold, they're less evolved than the Burgess. It's a two-part snapshot. If you ever want the most fabulous reaffirmation that evolution took place, you just look at the Burgess and look at Chengjiang. And I think you have a tremendous sense of a tree going back towards its roots. Evolution is writ large in almost biblical proportions, excuse me, if you go out and look at the rock record. I, I disagree with the assessment. I've also been to the top. We got a big kick out of it. My, I took my son. Oh, your, your cans? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the fact that we made it back down and Steve Gould had to be airlifted off, you know, we <laughs> felt. Uh, but uh, it, a couple of years ago, we sponsored one of the leading uh, Chinese paleontologists in your, in your department to come speak in your department, uh, J.Y. Chen. And uh, uh, I, I, I dispute your assessment that you have lesser complexity at the base of the explosion. The, the Chengjiang fossils are beautifully preserved. Oh, they are. The, and you have trilobites. They've now discovered fishes there in... Yeah, you know, but what I'm saying, they're less... Either. The lobopods, for instance. We go into lobopods. You've got far more, far more complex in the Burgess than your Chengjiang. You, Evolution has increased diversity. It has increased you, complexity. You have, this, you have some animals that are less complex because they weren't known before. No, okay, but, trust but, me on this, Stephen. The, trust me on this. The, trust, you, you no, can't don't, trust don't me on this, I've written on this, too. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. You so, can't go there with it. Anyway, J.Y. Uh, Chen is at your department, and he doesn't accept the tree picture. He says it's upside down. You get the major diversification, major innovation of form right from the base of the Cambrian. <laughs> and uh, it's not an argument. That's a gesture. No in case you've not taken logic. Uh, and uh, afterwards, he was, uh, he's, very, he's very skeptical of of uh, uh, universal common descent. Yes, that's one. And now I can cite a hundred who absolutely and, uh, disagree with he was him. Asked, he, he was asked, uh, uh, you're, you're, so, you're so skeptical about, about the standard Darwinian doctrine of universal common descent. And he said, well, in my country, he says, you can question Darwin, but you can't question the government. He says, in this country, you can question the government, but you can't question Darwinism. Now, <laughs> let's... All right. Let's look into this. The first claim is that J.Y. Chen says that his evidence supports a history of life that runs opposite to the standard evolutionary tree diagrams, a progression he calls top-down evolution. I've looked for the source of this and I've only found it in creationist websites. Here is a page from the website called On Common Descent, which quotes Stephen Meyer's book Darwin's Doubt. Here, somebody has written this quote by Chen, which I cannot find anywhere else, and links an article by the Boston Globe journalist Fred Heeren. In this article from May 2000, which is nearly 23 years old at the time of recording this, 
there is no mention of this quote. Chen does mention that he thinks the conventional forces of evolution can't account for the Cambrian explosion. The same article also quotes Eric Davidson, a geneticist, as saying that neo-Darwinism is dead. Let's look into these claims. Here is an article from J.Y. Chen, published in 2005, where he talks about Vetusto vermis and how it represents an independent evolved animal group from the early Cambrian. Wikipedia, however, demonstrates how later discoveries have now classified Vetusto vermis more accurately. Regarding the quote by Eric Davidson, I have found an obituary page from the website of the National Centre for Science Education, which shows how Davidson's work was mischaracterised by creationists. In response to the quote that he said neo-Darwinism is dead, Davidson wrote to the newspaper to protest that the report was strewn with fabrication and fabricated comments and written by a biblical creationist posing as a science writer who has nothing more than an axe to grind. The Globe declined to print his letter. Here is the author of that article, Fred Heeren, showing his book that he is selling called Show Me God. So in summary, Stephen Meyer quoted J.Y. Chen, and that quote is not found in any other source other than creationist or intelligent design sources. The findings that J.Y. Chen made in the early 2000s have been further clarified by work that has been performed later on regarding the Cambrian explosion. For a detailed yet easy to understand review of the Cambrian explosion, I would urge you to watch the Professor Dave Explains video on Stephen Meyer that exposes the Discovery Institute.